Welcome back, you beautiful people. I'm a big fan of cycling in general, be it mountain bike, road racing, gravel, on the road, whatever, right? I love to ride any bike. And I'll buy a bike, or I'll get given a bike, because I just want to have that pleasure, that escape to go and do something crazy. Feel that bug of excitement, be it if it's a fat bike, or a gravel bike. Now the fat bike to me is just fun. It's quirky, it's got big fat tires, it looks cute and chunky, and it sounds incredible on the trail. Whereas the gravel bike for me, it's a little secret. Well, now it's not a secret, is it? Because I kind of told you, but I love the gravel bike, especially when it's got a fork on the front. It's basically, well, some would say it's a mountain bike, but I don't think so. I think it's a, a road bike on steroids. It hasn't skipped leg day, hasn't skipped chest or arm day. It's just gone full out beast mode. A bit like the fat bike. I feel like he's just eating fast food constantly. But today is a day where I'm gonna put these two together to see which one is faster or which one is better than the other. I feel like they're totally different. It'll be exciting. Okay, before we kick off, I mean cycle off, let's talk about the bikes that I'll be riding today. This is my Canyon Dude. It's uh, obviously a fat bike in orange. It's a carbon frame. It's got some massive tires on this beast. Like, I mean massive. These are like the 4.8s from Vittoria. They're at Canoli. Caloni, Caloloni, Caloni. My Italian's bad. Anyway, a 100 mil fork on the front with these Manitou forks, they look Incredible, when you're sat up here looking down at it, you're like, whoo, whatever's in front, you're gonna get ridden over. I tell ya, this thing is a one by system, so it's a 12 speed as you can see. I'm already in the climb gear. It's a beast, it's an absolute beast. It's like riding an armchair up a hill. We've got four pop brakes on this beast, it's because uh, it's quite a beast to slow down. That's about it, really, clipped in. Got to drop a post, I love the color. But that's not all, let's look at the gravel bike. This is my new proof digger. It's a 700C wheel, so it's pretty close to a road bike, isn't it? But the tires on this are Vittoria Torino Mix. They're big, big, big girthy tires just to take on that rough terrain. But I feel like this is an aggressive one because of the forks I got on the front. These are Fox 32 TC forks, 50 mil off travel. I went for the bigger one because Big is always better, isn't it? And it makes it a lot more aggressive, especially when it gets a bit hairy on the trail. Let alone having a dropper on a gravel bike or a road bike on steroids. So I got dropper, big wide bars on this beast, but I'm running a Shimano GRX system on this. This is the gravel specific drivetrain because it's got a clutch and it's got disc brakes, hydraulic, and it's uh, a one by system. So that chain's not gonna come off. This is my gravel bike, and I absolutely love it. Gravel tracks, fire roads, anything that's gravel orientated, this bike thrives through and through. It's a mile muncher. Be it if you're just going on a big epic ride, gravel riding, or bike packing, exploring, this bike is, is unbeatable, really, to be honest, in my eyes. Maybe a cross country bike, but this, oh man, there's some road orientated stuff this thing is gonna fly. But when it comes to a bit gnarly, this bike gets put out of its place very quickly. But you can make your average single track ride feel very gnarly, which is cool because it's quick bang for your buck. If you want that excitement, that adrenaline rush, this will definitely give it to you on some simple gravel tracks. Whereas the fat bike, phew, yeah, unlike my uh, gravel compadre over there, Mile Mansion, this on gravel tracks is not the fastest thing. The drag that this has with these massive tires is incredible. But the joy that I get at looking down at my front tire just puts a smile on my face. I love it. That's why I've got it. But unlike the gravel bike, when the trail does get a little bit rough, this with the big tires makes it feel like a full suspension, like this trail.
So we've had a brief summary of what these two bikes are capable of. This big epic gravel rides, okay? It's an aggressive gravel bike. It's got forks, it's got big tires, it's got a dropper post, it's got wide bars. You can do quite a lot on that bike, but so can you on the fat bike. You can hit snow, sand. It's got a dropper, it's got forks, it's got big fat tires. Now, the question is, right, which one is faster, okay? So I've come to Forrester Dean for the proving grounds and put these two head to head. So let's take a look at the course. So the course I've plotted out, right, we're gonna start right at the top of Forrester Dean Trail Center. On the rolling right here, we're gonna drop into GBU, which has got some rollers, some tabletops, some berms. So straight out the bat, the gravel bike is gonna be out of its comfort zone straight away because myself, I like to ride on the drop, so it's gonna feel a bit weird. Anyway, we're gonna have a short little detour on a fire road, cut over to Corkscrew Trail, which has got a little bit more rough. There's some roots in there, there's some little step down jumps, there's, it just gets a bit more rough. You'll exit right here from the rough into the middle section where the gravel starts. And it's all along this fire road with a little punchy climb to the finish. Yes, a punchy climb to fully finish you off. And as soon as you pass the ski run sign, the time will stop. That's the course. Let's head back up to the top. I feel like I'll be up. I feel like I'll be up. Oh, tires just drag. I can feel it. The legs are burned. Oh. That's, 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 that's not nice. That's not nice. Taste blood. I taste blood. Oh, that's hard work. That's hard work. That's hard. Oh. Why do we do it? Why do I do it? Oh. on the jumps with us, on the drops. Oh, oh, oh no, lost some time there. Definitely slower up here. Oh.
Oh, this is a rough bit. Rough. No. Oh, oh, oh. We can catch him now. We can catch him. Oh, still burning legs. Yes. Oh. Okay, I've had a break. I found my lungs. Because no one wants to see me suffering, well some probably do, but anyway. I love every aspect of these bikes, individually. Like, the fat bike is incredible. It puts a big smile on my face. Just looking down at that humongous Tyra in front of me. And the sound sounds incredible. I just love the uniqueness. It's just, oh, it's just cool. It's cool. The gravel bike, I love everything about it. The curly bars, suspension forks, really small ones, a dropper post on skinny tires, it's a road bike built for the gravel. I love it, it's got its place, and it should stay there. I, I just adore both these bikes, but it comes down to the times, because I set a time on each bike down the track, and uh, I split it up into two splits. So the rough, and then the gravel, and then an overall time, okay? I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about the fat bike first, because it is fast for a fat bike. It is fast, but it's slow at the same time and I'll explain. So, overall time was two minutes 44 from top to top here, right? But in split one, which is the rough bit right at the top, GBU into corkscrew to the fire road, I did it in one minute 08. That's quite fast, but the time that I wasted, you could feel it when I was riding, on the fire road, that split was at one minute 36. Okay, that's the times for the fat bike, the gravel bike. Overall time, okay, drum roll, was two minutes 34. So it's, it's definitely faster, but it was slower in split one by quite a lot. I, in split one, it was one minute 14. So trim, like way slower. So from 108 to 114, but in split two on the gravel, this thing is like a Ferrari for the dirt, man. This is really quick. That was one minute. 20, whereas that was 1 minute 36. So overall, if you were to ride your, your local place, the bike to go for is that, because you'll be slow on the, uh, the rough, but it'll be way more gnarlier, like I explained right at the beginning. It makes the simplestest of trails feel crazy rough. Hopefully you found this video quite entertaining and uh, all those fat bike lovers, I still love you. I still love the fat bike gravel riders. I love you guys too. And all the haters that probably hate them, I love you too. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you at the next one. See ya. Oh, here's a question. What other two bikes should I go head to head on? Let us know in the comments down below. Could be anything. Please. Tricycle? Don't know. Let me know.